Praise the Lord. God is good. God is great. Jesus is alive and well. Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, call a familiar face. Call all the folks you know from your family and relatives to your friends, your classmates, your roommates, your significant others, your spouses, and everyone else. From friends, amigos, comrades, compadres, to your frenemies and enemies. Tell them that your boy is doing his YouTube CVS station identification. No, it is not. The Pharmacy, it's Channel Vlog Show, known as WEML-TV, Channel 77. And now here is your host of the show, where there's Ordinary and there's him. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Hello, everyone. It's me. I'm back. Eric Lima here once again, coming at you for the final video of the night. Of course, uh, final video of the, of the entire day. And um, I just got back from Rant and Rave. I uh, hope you checked out the episode. And we welcome a lot of newcomers to the, uh, the live chat. And if you want to be a member, it's really cool. Um, my name is Eric Lima, for those of you not, who are keeping score. And this is uh, WEML TV, Channel 77. And this is episode 652. And today... Is October the 21st, 2021, 10.43 p.m. Uh, as you know, like I said, this is my final video of the night. Uh, I did a lot of covered. Um, I did, however, did two episodes of Thundercracker Thursday. I did one because I thought I didn't have any time to do one. But now I was able to, I was able to do one before went on Rant and Rave. And we were having a lot of fun. So, and, uh, what I have here, we're going to be doing the uh, final uh, Impact Event Center before Bound for Glory. As you know, there's a lot of matches on the card, as usual, and some. We have um, a number one contenders match for a tag team uh, championship for the Impact Tag Team Championship. Chris Bay and Hikuleo representing uh, the Bullet Club against Finn Juice. That's Juice Robertson and David Finley. But there was no decision in that matchup because both ref- one referee was knocked out during the matchup. Another referee came in the ring, and both one member of Finn Juice had a member of the Bullet Club pinned, while a member of Finn Juice had an- a member of the Bullet Club pinned. Both referees count to three. They were deciding that each was the winner. Both teams were arguing in the back. Scott Moore says, I got a decision to make, and I'll, I'll decide who the number one contenders are for the Tag Team Championship. And then uh, Josh Alexander explains about his life, how he became a professional wrestler, and why he became a professional wrestler. He had a rough childhood because his um, because his parents divorced when he was three years old, and um, he didn't have TV or cable because the mother kind of probably couldn't afford it, and he wanted to do something for an outlet to help him make friends, to help him you know live. And, that, and professional wrestling was it. He loved professional wrestling, and. Uh, and he, that's why he's worked hard for this moment to become the Impact World Champion. Um, they had now among the six competitors who were fighting for the Digital Media Championship at Bound for Glory. They were pa- they were paired off in mixed triple threat mixed tag team matches. On one team it was Jordan Grace and Falabad. Another team was Chelsea Green and Crazy Steve, and the third team was Daniel Dashwood and John Skyler. And with triple threat rules, um, that means no disqualifications, no countouts. Daniel Dashwood and John Schuyler took advantage of that one. They won the match. Daniel Dashwood and John Schuyler. And Rhino was about to break his silence about what's been going on through his mind, but then Heath interrupted him. And Heath and Rhino knew each other since their WWE days, so um, Heath was trying to get back to that, and Rhino had a smile on his face when Heath was talking about his two little girls. And then VVD interrupts them, and then, you know, Eric Young's trying to convince Rhino to come back with them. Heath Slayer says, this is not a family, and they made fun of him. And then Rhino decided to walk away from this, and then VVD was attacking Heath. And then, as Rhino was walking away out of the impact zone, VVD continues to attack Heath. So, I think Rhino needs to make a decision by Sunday, and by Saturday... 
uh, I'm bound for glory about who was going to face who. And then there was the pick your poison matchup. And uh, and it was Mickey James went one on one with Savannah Evans. And in a hard fly matchup, now during the matchup, Deanna Perazzo, the knockouts champion, and the Reina, AAA Reina de Reina's champion came out. During the matchup, <clears throat> Mickey James did get the victory over Savannah Evans. And then, as Deanna Perazzo was taunting Mickey James because they couldn't contact with each other, and Deanna Perazzo does not want to face Mickey James, but then Matthew Raywall attacks Mickey James. And then GM, and as Raywell and, and, uh, Raza was celebrating. Gia Miller did talk to um, in, uh, tried to talk to Raza and Raywall, but then Scott D. Moore confronts them and was had enough. He says, "I would have stripped you of the title, but you got two days to face Mickey James, so the title should not be decided in the courtroom. It's going to be decided in the ring." So Scott D. Moore wants to make sure. I think you should make this thing a no disqualification match. To be honest with you. But then Scott D. Moore had enough of their shenanigans, and, shenanigans. and he won, I think, with Ray Wall interferes. They'll both be suspended. and Suspended, so. Then Brian Myers, after VSK lost uh, in a matchup, was angry with a learning tree. Zicky Dice and, you know, Manny Lemons and VSK. But then Brian Myers says, I have no choice. I gotta cut you, Sam Beal. So, so Sam Beal was cut from the group. Well, that means the wrong one. Well, Sam Beal, Beal will have to take notes by himself and learn from other people. Kind of feel bad. Then there's a contract signing for the Knockouts Tag Team Champion uh, cha- Championship. The inspiration. You better check out their video. Uh, Jessica McKay, Cassie Lee, and Harley and Harley Cameron. I think her name is. Gorgeous young, gorgeous ladies. Oh my gosh! I'm like, dear Lord, have mercy. But then they send their bar- their legal and entertainment barrister, Artie Evans, which is R. D. Evans. Funny that is. Uh, D. K. signs the contract, and R. D. Evans signed uh, signed it on their behalf. So the inspiration is going to make their debut at Bound for Glory, challenging D. K. for the Knockouts Tag Team Championship. And like I said before, if the inspiration does Pin beat Decay in that matchup. They will be the first women's team to capture women's tag team titles in two different organizations. Remember when they were known as the Iconics, they became WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, winning the titles at WrestleMania 35, I do believe. So, then they have Alex Zane went one-on-one with Trey Miguel. Miguel wins the matchup. Then Steve Macklin attacks Trey McGill, and then um, El Fantasmo came out, along with Hickle and Chris Bay. They get involved, and then in attacking both um, Macklin and Miguel. In the end, the Bullet Club does stand tall in the middle of that ring. And uh, I got to tell you, the X Division is going to be more competitive than ever. I think uh, Trey McGill and Trey McGill and Josh and Josh Alexander tweeted. To each other, they better be walking away with hardcore uh, hardware at the end of the night this Saturday. So uh, Josh Alexander enters the ring uh, and dresses the crowd, and he says he was getting sick and tired of Christian's words, his mouth. He believes in himself, and a lot of people are signing with him. And then Christian Cage interrupted him, and then Josh Alexander says if he had not worked for a billionaire who works for from another organization, if you're working, continue to work for a billionaire. Works for another organization, uh, referring to Tony Khan and in and AEW. He ain't gonna represent Impact Wrestling for long. He isn't gonna slam the door right, the forbidden door right in your face. Good. Why don't you do this? Slam the door in front of uh, that forbidden door in Kenny Omega's face too. So, and then both men decided to fight, and they were brawling like crazy until security came out to separate both men. They were booing, and then they decided, well, they're gonna continue fighting. And then some of the locker room comes out, like Rich Swan, Eddie Edwards, and all of them, came out to separate both Christian and Josh Alexander. What a brawl that was. So it'll be a whole lot of fun. So that's all the time. That's all there is. The Impact, Impact Event Center for the 21st of 2021. And uh, the final Impact before Bound for Glory. 
They're going to be doing some shows in Vegas for a while. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, oh, by the way, that triple, um, th- uh, that tag team matchup between the Bullet Club and Finn Juice, it's going to be a triple threat match for the Impact Tag Team Championship. The Good Brothers will defend those titles against the against both the Bullet Club, that will be Chris Bay and Hikuleo, else El Fantasma will be fighting Macklin and Trey McGill for the X Division Championship, and the other team, Finn Juice, will be challenging for those Impact Tag Team Championships as well. So that's going to be a uh, crazy matchup. The Inspiration challenging DK, uh, Rosemary, and Havoc for those Impact um, Knockouts Tag Team titles. Knockouts title on the line, Deanna Peraza to defend against Mickey James. Uh, Cage versus Alexander for the Impact World title. The Digital Media Championship be on the line as Chelsea Green, Jordan Grace, and Tenil Dashwood all facing each other alongs against also um, Fala Ba, John Skyler, and Crazy Steve. Whoever watched out will be the first ever Digital Media Champion of Impact. A lot, a lot of matches are going to go down. A lot of matches are happening. So that's all the time we have on this show. Episode 652 is complete. And um, I'll see you in the next episode. All right. Um, if you like this video or any of the videos you see, plus the uh, um, subscribe button if you can. And um, ring the bell for notifications to you want to check out more videos. Until the next episode, peace, love, bless out. See you tomorrow for more of WEML TV, Channel 77. Peace.